In today's video, we will show you how to properly and safely open a lid on a pop feeder. Before initiating any work, be sure that you have all of the proper PPE to protect yourself from any spills or mishaps. On some pot feeders, you will see pressure gauges. These gauges will show you if there is pressure to the pot feeder and if it is safe to open. Please note that not all pot feeders will have pressure gauges. On the top of the pot feeder, you will find the lid. We will show you how to properly remove that later in this video. By following the pipes, we are able to identify the suction and also the pressure or the intake pipe on the system. And on the bottom is the drain valve. The first step when looking at a pot feeder is to try to identify any leaks in the system. Once you've determined there are no leaks, you will follow the pipes to the shutoff valves to isolate the pot feeder. On this pot feeder, they use ball valves to isolate the system. A quick tip, when the ball valve is parallel with the pipe, it is open. When it's perpendicular, it is closed. Keep in mind that in some, but not all systems, there will be pressure gauges to let you know if there is still pressure to the pot feeder. Once you have identified the valves for the pressure and the suction side of the pot feeder, slowly close both valves. Notice there is still pressure to the pot feeder. You must relieve pressure by opening the drain valve on the bottom of the pot feeder before removing the lid. Now that the pot feeder has been depressurized, it is safe to open the lid. Some lids are harder to open and may require to use a dead blow hammer or a block. Do not use a metal hammer as this can crack the lid. Once you have removed the lid of the pot feeder, inspect it to make sure the O-ring is still intact and that if it might need cleaning. Set the lid aside and you are now safe to remove the filter in the pot feeder. Not all pot feeders will have filters, but this is something you can recommend to your customer if there is not a filter. Notice once the lid is removed, the pot feeder will be fully drained. Before adding product, you must shut the drain valve on the bottom of the pot feeder. Once you have added product to your system, it is now safe to reinsert a new filter. Once you have properly inserted your filter, you will locate the pressure valve and slowly open to add water to the pot feeder. Only slightly crack open the valve as you do not want to have too much water too quickly to the pot feeder. Be sure to add water to the very top of the pot feeder so you do not add any air back into the system. Before placing the lid back on the pot feeder, be sure to ensure that it is clean, the O-ring is intact, and then place back on the pot feeder. You can use a dead blow hammer or a block to tighten the lid. Be sure not to use any metal tools or a metal hammer as this could crack the lid. Some pot feeders may require you to tighten a bolt at the center of the lid. Please note that not all pot feeders will have this bolt. Once you have ensured that the lid is tightly on the pot feeder, it is now safe to open the system back up. Open the valve slowly, and as you do so, be sure to check the pot feeder for leaks. 